everybody and welcome back. I can see your hair. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of a grown man child versus plastic things. Yeah. And today we're going to be looking at um, one of the lines that I'm really excited for. They're not small, they're not huge, but they're electronic and they look really nice. And thanks to you, thank you so much. They're going to be presented by my beautiful assistant. Please tell me they're not broken. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, uh. So today we're going to be looking at the Baryonics. I think these are raw revolves, and of course the Metrocanthosaurus. And I'm pretty sure that the Metrocanthosaurus has never had a toy released for it. So this is the first time in the Jurassic franchise that we're seeing a Metrocanthosaurus. But we're going to leave that till um. Actually, should I do a second? We'll do that now. We'll save Baryonyx. This is the one I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, we'll put that at the side there. And today, like, well, we're going to be doing both. But right now, we're going to be doing the Metrocanthosaurus. Box looks great. Like, um, you can see for multiple. Oh, God. The squeaking of that cardboard. So here is the box. You can see how they've designed it, like, really well. Keeping with that um, sort of, like, caged dinosaur aesthetic look that they've got. They've also got this uh, this backdrop here. Uh, unfortunately, the Metrocanthosaurus's sticker, which says, Press Me, has fallen off. So that's a bit of a shame. So here it is. And they've continued um, the little, like, volcano background into the, into the back of the box. There. You can sort of just see it, like, if we look in different cameras, like... So when it's on the shelves and you see it from an angle... Um, it looks like really nice as opposed to like, if you see that you can see there's some cardboard that isn't quite like in shot and that, that but then you're never going to look at it on the shelf like that are you so that's really cool they've done that little, little attention to detail really nice hold on we can get you really close to the microphone here we go no that's okay so do we only have two sound effects because that was two So that's three. Okay, we got four sound effects there. I think each, is that, we'll have four? Okay, it could be five. It's either four or five. Jesus, that actually is so loud. It pierces my ear a little bit. Uh, really nice to see that it's different sound effects um, for this dinosaur. It's not like a T-Rex. It's not a Baryonyx. Those sound effects, although, a bit hard to distinguish. You can definitely tell that's that's a different dinosaur. Also, what they've decided to do is like get different sound effects as well. So not only do you have a roar, but sometimes you hear like stomping or uh, like trees being like pushed aside and bushes and leaves rustling. So it's quite nice that you, you click that button and it's not just like roar. So you could have like kids could have it like run about and stuff. And that's what we're about to get next to. But before we do that, we'll look at the back of the box. Back of the box, um, we've got um. If you can see it there without the light shining too much on it. We've got the Allosaur, the Baryonyx, and the Triceratops, the other ones in the range. A nice little diorama of the uh, Metrocanthosaurus there, uh, showing us that it, it moves its jaw. And you can push the button on the back there. Does it say anything about it? Metrocanthosaurus, batteries included, which is really good. Uh, also, it comes with the, um, the scanner on the bottom of the foot, so that's quite handy. And let's not waste any more time. And let's open this bad boy. How do we do just how cleanly we can actually take this thing apart? There seems to be uh, ooh, four bits of cell tape. It looks like, oh, it's all like sellotape together, actually. Let's see. We may be able to do this and put it all back together. <gasps> is it really? Oh, yeah, there, oh, yes. Good news is that you can pretty much put it back together quite easily. It should fall out, are we? Oh, yes. <coughs> Ooh, the, the underneath's a bit weird, actually. It's got like, ooh, it looks a bit rotten. <laughs> can, we, can we get a close-up of that? Yeah, oh. 
Oh, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> there you go. Scan it. I actually scan all these while I'm editing the video, so just in case you can only use it once, I'm like, well, I tried, but I've got it. It's got like different poses. So you've got like one, like a little bit higher. Then you've, it like sort of clicks in as well. So that's quite nice. Uh, the arm joints as well. This is the first time, I think, in a long time that we've had like ball joints for arms of dinosaurs. So you can move it up and down, but you can also have it go out. So you can have them like go, what? <laughs> there you go. Oh God, that, that raw, yep. So sculpt is really good. Um, you can see all the scales there. If we get a nice close up, look at it. Hold on, Baryonyx, you're in the way, damn it. There you go. Some uh, close up details of the teeth. You can see that they've been painted really, really well. Oh, oh no, oh, there's a little bit on the tongue. There's a little bit of like paint chip. Yeah, there's some, I think it's this way actually. If we look at it like that. There's a little bit of splash from the, uh, the white from the teeth onto the tongue. But honestly, that isn't too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. It's, it's a really, like as far as articulation goes, uh, posability, so you can have it like a nice flat stance, you can have it as if it's roaring. I don't know how much, how much lower you could go. Could you have it like scrambling on the floor? There you go. <laughs> you could actually. Yeah, so this is, this is like a really nice solid toy to have. And oh my god, even the legs have ball joints. Like you can, you can have the legs go in and out. So not only can they go backwards and forwards, but they've got this like a nice little, uh, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm doing, a, I'm doing a bad job of showing. There you go, they have a nice like, little ball rotation. <gasps> like a real dinosaur. Oh, that is great. So yeah, you can have them like do the splits. <laughs> yeah. That's the realistic pose of a Metrocanthosaurus. No video of these types of dinosaurs would be complete if we didn't compare it to the Hasbro version. Well, we didn't have a Metrocanthosaurus when it came to the Hasbro, but we did have other sorts of dinosaurs. And one of the better ones that, oh, there, there you go, makes a lovely noise, is the Dilophosaurus. He also did come with a projectile. Uh, and so, well, to be honest, so does the other Hasbro, sorry, the Mattel. Uh, smaller version, which you can find up somewhere there, because we did a, we did a video on it, on all of them actually, all the small ones. So if you want to see that, you can go check that out. As far as sculpt goes, they're on a similar level, I definitely say. It's a shame that this Met Metrocanthosaurus does have a clip-on tail, but it does allow it to have that extra um, the extra length that it needs without the box being overly big. So that's quite nice. The action features. Oh, that's great, yes. Ah. Yeah, there it is. Look at that for a, a, a carnival. That looks great. I, I don't know if I'd like it better if... I'll just wait for him to shut up for a second. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like it better if it was the other way around, because his jaw is always open. So I think I'd like it better if you clicked it, and then his jaw opened, and then when it closed. Because it would make more sense. You don't close the mouth to then make a raw sound effect. But then again, as soon as you click it and release, it makes that raw sound effect. So, I mean, that I guess that's just like a little nitpick of mine. It's just like I'd rather have it the other way around so I can keep the jaw open. That's personal preference. I could see other people thinking the other way around and being like, no, I'd rather have its jaw open all the time. I guess you could close it and then just shove some blue tack in there just to keep it closed. And the fact that these, there's so much more articulation when it comes to the feet. Um, and the feet aren't really big. It's a great balance. Like you have the, um, you have the blue, the velociraptor, where are you? Where are you? Come here, you! Which suffers from these huge feet syndrome. In fact, his foot's as big as the Dilophosaurus from Hasbro. And just a little bit smaller than the Metrocanthosaurus. That's crazy. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not as big. It's definitely as big as the Dilophosaurus, though. Especially when you think how long it is. They've done a great job sort of getting life, uh, you know, lifelike proportions. But this guy, the Metrocanthosaurus, definitely has proportions right. I'd say maybe the tail should be a little bit longer. But apart from that, he's got amazing balance for what he is. Uh, the action the action feature's great, the articulation's great, paint job's great, sound effects are great, they're not like 
uh, like a T-Rex reused or a Spinosaurus or something like that. So, Merikanosaurus! I think this whole range, I'm gonna say it, the whole range I think is definitely like must buys, 100%. But, let's get on to the next one, which is the one I'm really looking forward to, and that is the Baryonyx. And here it is! In the same sort of packaging, uh, with the uh, same sort, of, it's basically the same, except for at the bottom, they switched out the Baryonyx for the uh, Metrocanthosaurus. The one I'm really looking forward to, there was two in here, in this range I was really looking forward to seeing, and that is the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus, which we will cover in another video. I just didn't want to kind of cover all of them and sort of, I don't know, I, I need to make them last, guys. I've only got, this is my last set I've got so far. Because apparently, because Toys R Us is going on, the Smiths are getting the, like, battle damage versions. Um, and I've got to admit, the battle damage versions look kind of bad in comparison to the regular versions. They've literally just got paint slobs on them of red, and that's the battle damage. I'd rather they did something else. It is what it is. I'll, I'll take what I get. Ah, right, let's open this Baryonyx. Yes. You're not going to be able to resell these as brand new, that's for sure. But you're going to get them back in the packaging, and they're going to look great. So that's, that's good enough for me. And let's clip in that tail. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, and there it is, the Baryonyx, uh, who has like, what, that pose, and a steady pose, and do you have a lower pose? Yeah, and each one balances flawlessly, yeah! <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. And you say, you have like the same um, articulation for the Baryonyx. Oh, that looks, it's nice. It's like sturdy as well. This thing, um, I feel like it's sturdier than the, um, the like a pack attack things. What I've got to say about this Baryonyx, what I love about it is its head. You've got this lovely like shine on the top of it, which um, sort of the Baryonyx from the promotional images had. It had this like blue around it. They have, they've definitely decided to change it. They haven't kept that same like light brown, dark brown, orangey sort of look to it. They've decided to go for maybe a more natural look. And to be honest, I actually prefer that. I prefer that kind of look. And because it's got its legs able to sort of like really rotate and articulate in different directions. Uh, this thing's not gonna have a problem with uh, balancing on almost anything. Let's hear those sound effects. A little guttural snarl, okay. Ooh, I kind of like that one. You had like a few stomps and then a roar. Didn't like that one. That was a T-Rex. Mm. I kind, I kind of. One thing I did like about Spinosaurus was its like sound effects, and I thought this one would have quite similar. But the fact that they've used a T-Rex sound effect, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, that's a stomping again. So there must be at least one more. That That's more like the Spinosaur. I like that one. That's a T-Rex. 100% that's a T-Rex. I don't know how they got away with that one. Oh, that's just a gr So we got two grumbles, a stompy one and a roar, and then a T-Rex one. Yeah, there's a T-Rex one. Oh, oh no, that's, oh, so we, I think we have five or four. I haven't decided <laughs> which ones are, which ones are different sound effects, but it could be five. I hate that. Oh, it's a T-Rex. No, why? <laughs> Couldn't have just given it like, even if it just had the, the Spinosaurus sound effect, I kind of would have been happy with that. There's different types of sound effects, different variations. Uh, it should go in a cycle though, because what I used to do when I was a kid would be like, play through the different sound effects and know which one was coming, and then definitely get the right one for the right action that was supposed to be happening. Again, on the other side, you've got that weird... Ooh, I don't like that. I'd imagine like different maggots coming out of it. Good! There it is! There's the scan code for you. You know, Baryonyx in your game too. So we got a really nice eye. Again, just like the Metrocanthosaurus, you got these teeth that don't really have too much splash. Do they have any splash? No, not really. Even on the underside, even on the underside, um, it's looking great there. And a nice, can we get a nice look at that blue snout? 
Oh, look at it shimmer. It's a little bit of bling bling, you know. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta have some bling leak. Some more. We'll get some nice looks at the, the scale, like the detail there. Really nice all the way down the back. Even on the leg, you've got some nice detail there too. And if you bring it both together, you can make them fight. And they look relatively in proportion. I can't remember how big a Metrocanthosaurus is, if I've got to be honest. You've got more crocodilian uh, plate at the top and then followed by wider, wider scales. So they haven't just like transplant, transplanted? Have a bit of Metrocanthosaurus skin on you. And they look, they play really great together. <laughs> yeah, die! Baryonyx, which is definitely a fish eater. Oh, look at that, he's just like smacking with his call, like BAM! You can have the Baryonyx just having like a nice little like sunbathe or lie down in um, some low-lying marshes. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, looks a bit stupid. It's really good, because then you really get a sense of length with him. He definitely looks more crocodilian like that. I'd love to put this in like some water or something and just see how it looks. Then again, it is electronic, so do not do that, kids, or else you may break your expensive toy. In fact, I didn't even talk about how expensive they are. So, there you go. If you just blocked out the forearms and pretended they were a little bit longer, isn't that bad. It is very, as far as like body proportions go, in comparison to the, um, the Metrocanthosaurus. Ah! Where are you going, son? Stand up a little bit longer, please. They are literally the same size. Um, and I mean, they're from the same range. They're, they're pro I think all of them are going to be around about the same length and same height. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I like it. It looks awesome. And can I just, can, can we just like cut while I just play with these guys for a second? Ah, yeah. And you could be, you could be like over them. The amount, yeah, man, I wish I had these as a kid. Look at the articulation. You can have him, sort of, the Metrocanthosaurus, clawing up, trying to stop the uh, the Baryonyx from dealing that last fatal blow. The Baryonyx is sticking his fingers in that weird noise holes he's got. So, in conclusion, oh God, we're almost out of time. So in, <laughs> so in conclusion, I've got to admit these toys um, yeah, that, as far as I'm aware, these are the best, better, maybe even best, uh, toys in the set so far. Uh, sculpt, uh, posability 100%. Like, we can have a look, comparison to the Hasbro, um, I quite like the muted and more natural colors that these guys have, uh, that Mattel have decided to present for this, um, for this sort of line. I quite like, it depends, because sometimes I quite like something that's a bit different. Like, you've got this, uh, Dilophosaurus. Ah, it still makes the ear wrenching sound. <laughs> this guy, um, but it only had like a couple of articulations, like the feet could move backwards and forwards. Um, the mouth could open by itself, uh, but you'd have to pull the claw back. Yep, there it is. But yeah, in comparison uh, to the old Kenner line, well, the Hasbro line especially, I'd, I'd say these are actually, they're, they're similar to the Hasbro Jurassic Park 3 um, toys. So like the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, the Triceratops, um, that they're, they're more in... I would say that these toys are probably the, be the best ones we've ever had. The, the fact that they've added the, um, the articulation to the dinosaurs, because we've had articulation like this with ball joints with human characters, but I think this is the first time I've seen it with uh, dinosaur characters, and it just, it just adds so much more, um, like, posability and, uh, like, I, I, not really gameplay, but playability. But yeah, love these toys. Uh, oh, sorry, Dilophosaurus. You know, and grip that really hard and it's not gonna explode. And I can, I can imagine kids just, like, banging them around, bah, like, battling each other. And they see, they seem, yep, there, there we go. This is, this is the hard hitting action that you want with, with the Game Beaver channel. Bah! If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like and you can find uh, all of the toy line I'm going to sort of cover on this channel. So stay tuned. If you haven't, subscribe and hit that bell notification. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. How do you compare to the Triceratops? Yeah, there you go. Basically a rhino. It definitely looks like it.